All right, now it's extracted. You'll see it here. It's got a little uh, red symbol on the Xcode beta symbol, and it's quite large. It's 16 gigabytes. So that's where you've got about 23 gigabyte all up. So, you know, you might want to delete this zip unless you're going to use it some other place. So let me keep it zipped. So we can just uh, run it straight from here. Let's boot it up and have a look. Uh, agree to your agreements, put in your uh, passcode, and it'll install the components necessary to run this first up. Have a quick look around too. So it takes a little bit of time for the project to install those components. And also does take a long time for this to extract as it's 16 gigabytes. So just watch out for that. Uh, maybe go grab a cup of coffee or a tea and come back and it should be all done for you. So here we have Xcode version 11 beta. Um, let's get started with a playground and check it out. And there we've got our blank playground. Let's select that. I'm just going to create it. I've already got one in here. I'm going to replace it. Just saves to an auto save location. Uh, probably good to save it to your desktop or something. And it looks pretty much similar at the moment. Uh, so we've got a library here. Let's have a look at that while we're waiting for that build. And here we go. We've got a clean game scene. So these are where all your snippets are. Um, and it looks a little bit different, doesn't it? Media, okay. And color, so a color palette of some sort. So I've got some user ones I've created. They're up the top and you can edit those in here. So it's, no, it's very similar. That's where it is on the, we'll have a look at the, uh, the previous version. I don't know if you can have both open at the same time. So I'm just gonna close that just in case wants to install additional requirements as well. And you must quit the previous one, okay. Let's quit it. And I'll add those changes. I don't know what components, because it might be something to deal with installing the beta version. So um, this is interesting, so. You don't want it crashing your <laughs> original version of Xcode. So they might be uh, installing things to prevent that. I'm just gonna pause it here. It looks like it's gonna take a few minutes, so I'll see you soon. All right, so uh, let's get started with the playground. Now this is the playground that was created before with uh, Xcode 11. And let's see if it boots up okay. Is there any conflicts? No, all good. So it's compatible with the previous version of Xcode. So as you can see, yeah, it has changed. Um, it was, it's a plus in version 11 and you haven't got those other additional elements in the snippet thing. So um, let's, let's get out of here. Let's go back to the other. So that's the first uh, visual difference. Uh, let's have a look at creating a new Xcode project. And very similar, augmented reality, tab, um, and oh, here we go, cross-platform. Yeah, looks all very similar. Okay, let's create that. Um, first, Xcode 11, uh, app, we'll call it. And what was that down here? Oh, use Swift UI, let's check that out. Here we go. And I'll put this on the desktop. You can create a Git repository. All right, Swift UI. So we've got some view. Uh, and there's no. <laughs> um, that's very interesting. Oh, right, here's your, a view of your code down the side here. That's quite cool. So you can click on your body. I wonder if we can enlarge, make that enlarged. Do editor and canvas, so that's your canvas there. What does that do? 
it's a good view. Oh, wow. Opens up multiple tabs. Okay. Good to know. Let's close those. We've got a scene delegate. That's interesting. UI window. Scene to disconnect. Okay. And app delegate. What does that do now? Hmm. Now content view. And what, what, let's look at our simulators. Oh, they're very similar, they're, they're similar. Try and say that quickly, five times. Simulators are similar. Have a look back here in the general part of our... All right, now I have to install Mac OS 10.15 if I want to have the Mac as a target device. How cool is that? So if I build an app with this now, it'll also be Mac compatible. That's awesome, how great. So there's a quick look at Xcode 11. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you soon and let's get playing around with the Swift UI in the next videos.